Do you believe the taxpayer has a right to know how you spend their money? Uh, Senator, uh, Dr. Paul, thank you for that question. Uh, we, in the Office of Entrepreneurial Development, our purview is helping our small business navigate through their taxes. Uh, we, we're not in tax policy. so we No, no, we're not talking them. about uh, tax policy. I'm talking about the citizens. Do the citizens of the United States have a right to know how you're spending their money? Well, in our area, we're focused on uh, developing entrepreneurs. No, no, this is a transparency question. Do you, do you think the citizens of the United States, through their representatives, have a right to get information from you and your department about how you're spending the money? We, my purview is to assist our resource partner network and the community. No, it's sort of a there. yes or no. I don't think you're getting the question. It's a real simple question. The answer is yes, of course the citizens do, but you, you can't say that? I can uh, attest to what we're doing at the Office of Entrepreneurial Development. No, but I mean, it's a more general question. Do the citizens of the United States have the right to know how you are spending their money? Dr. Paul, um, I can shine the, the light on what we're doing at OED. And, you know, in terms of tax preparation uh, materials that we have. This is a really general question, just on transparency. Do the citizens of the United States, through their representative, have the right to ask questions about how you're spending their money? I'm here to answer any questions that you have on the so Office of Entrepreneurs. It's a yes or no. Can you acknowledge that, yes, citizens have a right and an expectation to know how their money is spent by organizations? That's why you come here. It's for oversight. It's a very general question. It's not accusing you of anything. It's just saying, do citizens have the right to know how you're spending their money? Dr. Paul, I would love to just shed some more light on the Office of Entrepreneurial Development. But you can't answer whether or not citizens have the right to know how you're spending the money. I'd be happy to talk about our tax preparation classes with our resource partners. But you can't acknowledge, yes or no, whether citizens have the right and the expectation through their representatives, Republicans and Democrats, to ask you for information on how money is spent. That's a yes or no question. It's about, it's a very basic question about transparency, but I, I'm not hearing you answer a, a yes or no. Dr. Pond would love to tell you more about what we're doing at the Office of Entrepreneurial Development. I'm energized to be here and talk about our programs uh, throughout the country. But, but this sounds like you're obfuscating the issue and you're not willing to answer that, that there is sunlight and that you're open to any kind of scrutiny by representatives as to how you're spending the money. Are, are, you don't believe that citizens have the right to understand how you're spending money and to ask questions through their representatives about how you spend the money? Dr. Paul, I'm here to answer any questions that you have. on. But I'm program. asking you, do citizens have the right to know that? And you're, you're giving me some other answer that isn't an answer to the question. This is a question, do citizens have the right to expect you to answer questions about how your money is spent? Dr. Paul, I'm here to answer any questions that you have on the fulfillment of our OED programs that include the right. resource partner footprint, the community navigation. Let, let the record know that the witness is refusing to answer a very basic question about transparency. The reason I ask this question is we sent you questions back in the beginning of the summer about the community navigator program. These are not political questions that I know of. How many organizations applied for funds under the community navigators program? That question was asked in the beginning of last summer. We asked again in November, and we haven't had answers. I think your staff decided to send us some piece of paper today or yesterday, still not answering that question. What's the geographic distribution of states and localities covered by each grantee? These are not even politically charged questions that we sometimes encounter, but you can't even answer whether or not citizens have an expectation to get answers from you, and then when we ask questions, you don't answer them. That, to me, is a serious uh, uh, breach of, of, your, of your duty as a civil servant. You can't answer a question on sunlight, and then when we send you written questions of an objective nature, you refuse to answer the questions. You don't even respond to us. I mean, that, that uh, is utterly contemptuous and disregarding of representative government. Dr. Paul, we did answer your letter, so uh, I would be happy to answer. When was the answer? When was the questions answered? Uh, we will get back to your office, but I know that we answered. No, the, 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 an the questions that I just asked you, the two questions, we got something yesterday or today from your office when you knew you were going to be here and have to answer some questions. You resisted for months sending any answer, but you still have an answer. The, the two questions that I just outlined, I do not believe we've got an answer for either one of those questions. Well, Dr. Paul, we believe in transparency, and we, uh, we did respond to your question. No more questions. 
let me point out, I believe the, um, the Community Navigator program started in, in December, so it's, it's a relatively new program. So uh, the information is just, I think, becoming available in a way that it's going to be meaningful for us to be able to obtain the type of information that uh, Senator Paul has requested. Uh, Senator Hickenlooper. 